Simply knowing that God exists wasn't enough for the fallen angels. They freely chose to sin, and they've convinced a lot of human beings to sin as well. That is why free will must be used to seek God, or else we fall into sin and bondage. You see, that's the lie that Aleister Crawley got from the pit of hell, that one should do what thou wilt. But sin, freely sinning, leads to bondage. Alcoholism, drugs, sex, that all leads to addiction, which is bondage, which is slavery. That's the trick to get people to think that they can sin and be free. That is not the case. But God wants us to use our free will to realize that's not the case. But in order to realize that sin is bondage, we have to allow God into our hearts and our minds so that we think like God and we realize that the only thing sin does is sink us further into despair. The fallen angels are spiritually corrupt. If we listen to them, we'll be in bondage as they are and separated from God. That is their goal, to get us more and more separated from God so that we're confused and led astray. Why do you think they make these entertainers and celebrities beautiful? Why do you think they raise to the highest pinnacle of success people who make a living being what they're not? Acting as fictional characters. They are used as bait. This world is a trap. Signs and wonders are everywhere. We're being deceived by Satan. He is using forms, signs and wonders, beautiful people, to lead us away from the truth. We are being hypnotized by these signs and wonders, by things that appear beautiful but are nothing but lies. We're being led further and further into bondage and deception. We must realize that. But God gives us free will to allow him into our hearts and minds to give us discernment so that we do not fall into bondage thinking that we're free, thinking that we can do what thou wilt, okay? The lie that was told to Aleister Crawley, and be saved and be free. Be our own gods, okay? That doesn't work. That leads to death. These demons who are possessing people, telling them lies, they know their time is short. They know that the second death awaits them because they've used their free will for, for the wrong things and to deceive people. See, they had free will as well. They knew God existed. That doesn't work. Simply giving people signs and wonders that, oh, I exist. You know, No, that's what Satan does to trick you. God doesn't do that. God transforms you from within so that you no longer need the signs and wonders, so that you have his mind and you have his discernment. Because without it, this world will hypnotize you into a bondage that you will not be able to get out of. So just remember, the demons, the fallen angels, they know God exists. That doesn't work. God is perfect. He knows how to bring us to him. And the only way we're going to come to him is if we use our free will to allow him into us. Because we need his perception of evil and how it destroys things in order to realize we don't want that route for ourselves. We don't want to be trapped in bondage. We don't want to be so spiritually corrupt that God cannot enter us. Because that is the true bondage. God is a loving parent. Satan is a deceiver. Don't become hypnotized by deception. Or you'll fall into sin, thinking you're free, and before you know it, you'll be so trapped that you won't know up from down, left from right, you'll be lost. Call on Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. 